I am uh, CMD of Ayusha P. Ayurved. This is the company which is into franchising of clinics. We are present in 10 countries of the world. We have uh, franchise clinics, Ayurvedic clinics in those countries which are all hard currency countries which is including UK, European around 7 countries, US and Australia and New Zealand. So, and uh, of course India. And I started, I want to share with you my story first, quickly, you know. Me and my husband, Dr. Pankadara, we actually started as a practitioner in 1983. And we were very good practitioners. We started traveling around the world, basically Europe. And, you know, we, we opened up a lot of clinics there, but personally we were just working with them. And then my soul literally started talking to me and asking me question. How far you can go? How many people can you help one and one? Not possible. And I was very, very inspired by the results of Ayurveda in a true way. All the allopathic Western medical doctors just came to meet us, wanted to learn, wanted to practice this whole system of medicine. So I decided that I would like to expand this into franchise clinics. This was in 2007. So I. My husband said, I am happy with my own practice and I don't want to do this kind of risk. If you want to do it, you do it. But get, get me out of it. So, I had somebody who indirectly said no, but did stop me. This was very good. I am very thankful to him. So then, um, I being, you know, coming from the background of uh, being doctor and learned and all, my habit is to learn everything thoroughly before I jump with something. So I started literally taking training on how to build a business. So I took a training on Emith, which is a fantastic man who is teaching franchising, how to do franchise, you know, how to, how to break down your processes and then how you can do, do, do duplicate and scale it up. Then I took a lot of marketing training in America because for me it was very important how to bring customer to this clinics. So I took training of Jay Abraham. I personally attended a lot of seminars of Philip Kotler, um, uh, Gorilla Marketing seminars, uh, different communication seminars. I did this for from 2007 till 2009. And then I started learning another thing which is how to scale up. This is Van Harness. He is a brilliant man actually, also from America. And I learned from him what to do to scale up. So he said that first you must know how to capture your data of your business. So we designed a fantastic ERP system first to understand from where exactly the customer comes, which communication is bringing them. From there, a final principle from from seeing a doctor, they move from which place to which place to the higher products. You know, we design several levels of products in our clinic, starting from just buying medicines to taking detox to taking few treatments, and finally going and staying in our own health resort where people spend around three thousand dollars each one of them from all over the world. So we design and we we define uh, ways to monitor. This I believe is my success formula because now I am free. I just monitor things. That's it. And I know my strategies very clearly and we grow every year minimum 30 to 50 percent actually in our business. Uh, so 2009 I started, first franchise came in the, uh, India. My husband says I'm, this is too risky. So I bought out all of his shares from the company. So my Ayushakti company was Completely, <laughs> completely empty. I gave him millions of dollars, okay? Okay, so we were empty. But, <laughs> and, but I, I felt free, you know? Absolutely. My manager, they came to me and said, we believe in your vision. And if you don't pay me salary for the next two months, we are okay. But believe me, I didn't have to do that. <laughs> Because we were very successful and we were only and only getting successful. So my point of success is this. I have my hands on five things all the time. And this I never give up. I work only two hours a day. 
for routine work. Okay. Rest I'm working on everything new, uh, creating vision, creating system, processes, and my main uh, input is for doctor training because we define that the doctor is the centerpiece. You know, every country we work only with the local doctors. So Germany, there are German doctors. Austria, there are local Austrian doctors, Belgian doctors, French doctors, and Italian doctors, and England doctors, and all local doctors. We have like 60 Western medical doctors working with us, full time, only practicing Ayurveda, using diet, herbs, marma points, panchakarma therapies in our own clinic and their clinic, which is a tie up with us, a franchise tie up. Okay, so my hands-on is with the data, as I told you. And I understood from this guy, Rockefeller's, Warren Harris, that you cannot give a, have a laundry list of things to monitor, okay, because you get confused. So my data monitoring very clear, four. Number of people coming to the clinic, average pill size, I always monitor these two things. Number of people have to grow by certain numbers every year. Average bill amount has to grow by certain amount every year by adding new products, having more people buying higher products, etc., etc. So this is where I play a role. I monitor that. Then my monitoring is also connected with the retention of the customer because new customer creation is very, very tough. But more you retain them, it's good. So that's what I do all the time. This three is what I monitor in all the 10 countries that we work in. I get data every week and every day on this topic. And I, if somebody doesn't send me this data, their life is hell, for sure. <laughs> so that's data. Then we have rhythm, in which we decided that the, every, whatever we decide to do, execution, again, Mota Mota has to be three to four priorities for each company. And these priorities have to be divided among the managers again, only three to four priorities because two big list is a complication. So, and all these three priorities we have rhythm, daily rhythm, three minutes for each person, top to bottom in the company. So, everybody is aligned today what we are doing to contribute to those three priorities that we have decided to have. Uh, weekly meeting, which is like two hours. Again, this was taught by Ron Harnish. So, there we monitor weekly data and also we have a small learning which will help us to achieve those three priorities of the company. And, and then I see it only in monthly and quarterly meetings actually and I get just minutes of these weekly meetings that I read and make sure that people are on focus on their goal that we have decided to do. So, that's rhythm. Then third thing that cash. I monitor cash rigorously because I have actually grown only out of our own cash. Never ever, there are many investors wanting to give me hard paid crores, but I don't want to take them because I don't need them. You know, if you work smart, you can generate your own cash. So, what I've done is, people were talking about government uh, schemes, I have actually used them a lot. Trust me, I've generated around one and a half crores of rupees, which is small amount. And now, next five years, we will generate 10 crores from government scheme. They are slow, but you know that they give you, if you go to them constantly. <laughs> <laughs> and trust me, I'm not paid on that table. <laughs> but my people, my managers are so inspired, you know, they're so motivated. I even, I've never met any of them, actually. <laughs> They just go and they talk to them from their heart and the people say, okay, we would like to help you. That's it. And we generated, for example, we bought all of our extraordinary machines off because we supply to Germany, which is like, oh, quality freak. It's not quality conscious, quality freak. The standards are too tough. And the government officers, FDA people can come any moment and take your goods and they can test it in any laboratory they want to test. So we, we needed really high quality instruments to follow the standard. I used really gave a huge subsidiary for that and we got one and a half crores of help from that. I believe that's one reason we are able to supply this quality to them. So I really appreciate government's help and I have taken care of that 
constantly. I use, uh, for example, WAG and the, uh, the backward zone subsidiaries, you know, and we are going to move our plant in now northeast, so that will give us like 10, I, I believe maybe more or less in the next five years, I'll earn like 15, 20 crores out of that decision. So we, and then supplier um, uh, payment agreements, everything, I monitor my cash like anything, and we have a KRA for the CFO that you have to generate this much cash every year extra from the same amount of business. And, and that's, that's one thing that I want to cash. People, you know, people for me, very important. Some of the people, like well, the doctors, are like my partners, you know. We share with them our revenue, so nobody goes. And all these Ayurvedic doctors, which are like hard, always struggling, people who work with me, they earn annually more than 30, 40 lakhs, these Ayurvedic doctors, you know. And I want to make them feel proud that they are practicing that therapy which makes people happy and healthy. So one is people, uh, internal people should be kept healthy and happy. Another is our external customers should be always kept happy and healthy. So we have a serious monitoring system. Data of this comes to me as well. How many percentage people are happy who come to our clinic? It should be at least 90%. And we do this rigorously for each and every people who come. That's done. So that's people. And strategy, of course, you all know. Without strategy, business cannot function. So marketing strategy, I believe we have unique marketing strategy of education. Our own country, we need to educate people about Ayurveda. It's so shameful, but this is the truth of life. So education is the key strategy we decided to market. So we don't advertise. We, we, we write advertorial, which is educational advertorial. And it has brought a huge amount of faithful customers to us, everywhere in the world. Not only here, I do TV shows in Germany giving education about Ayurveda. I don't tell people you come to our clinics, but I just give them education, how it works. And people choose to come just because of that. So that's what, you know, I just shared. My funda is very simple. Deshi technology to Videshis. This is my I have rarely seen this kind of focus and I am so happy you talked about data. I think most entrepreneurs miss out on this important aspect. Yeah. In general, whenever data is captured, it improves performance. And if data is reported, it improves performance further. So, so I, I think that's a very important lesson that we brought from you. Uh, one last question on Ayurveda. So, of course, in the last few years, we have seen uh, Patanjali putting Ayurveda on a different pedestal altogether. Uh, do you see Ayurveda being, becoming a, a local alternative medicine route for patients, particularly outside India? You have some experience in Germany, so can you say? Uh, I don't know if Ayurveda can become global mm -hmm. because for that we need to do a lot and Ayurvedic industry has to do a lot. I'm sure in 10 years, Ayushakti will be an alternate way of uh, uh, healing for the world. That's my clarity. Okay.